Hey family, what's going on? Klaus here and welcome back to our Tunnel 12 Let's Play, the first episode since the Winter 2020 update. And with that update comes some new content. Now, uh, we're going to get into that here shortly, but if this is the very first video that you've seen by me, Klaus Gaming, please do consider subscribing and turning on notifications. It's a huge help and uh, I hope that that means that you like the content because... We do it every day. Also, if this is the first video that you've seen with the hand cam, you may be a subscriber, but you're just getting back or whatever. Well, guys, we have a brand new hand cam, which you guys could see there. Actually, you know what? It's easier if I just do this. There you go. Ha <laughs> ha. The hand cam. What's up, buddy? It gives you guys a good view of uh, the iPad as I play. And by the way, subliminal messages. Like I said earlier, don't forget to subscribe. It's written down on my whiteboard way over there. Um, to, uh, to, to see some daily gaming content. So anyway, guys, we're back. And for some reason, this, this look, both my hands are there for some reason, this, this thing has been freezing up on me. I, I haven't been able to figure out why. Let me un unplug and replug it real quick. Come on. Don't, don't fail on me now, Bubba. Come on. I believe in you. I believe in you hand cam. Oh no. Okay, I think I got it working again. Um, I've messed with the settings a little bit. This thing tends to shut off randomly, which is weird for a webcam. Normally, they're really stable. Anyway, so guys, welcome back to the Tunnel 12 Let's Play, our first Tunnel 12 episode since the new update. And I've got three builders available. Remember, we're working on those defenses. I've got two cannons going. We've got one left. One left with the hand cam. One left until we're done with cannons, but there's also another big thing that needs to be upgraded, and that is now the Spell Factory. Huzzah! Uh, 4.8 million elixir, 7 day upgrade, unlocks the invisibility spell. This is available at Tunnel 11 as well, which is, which is why I did a Tunnel 11 video yesterday instead of my Tunnel 12. But anyway, um, so that's, that's kind of the goal, to upgrade that. Also, my laboratory, I believe, might be available... Is it? I don't even know. Oh, four days. Okay, we got four days until the e dregs are done. Okay, for a second there, I thought my hand cam froze up again. That would have been terrible. Anyway, so Electro Dragon is going four days until it is done. So let's go do some raids. I'm, you know, sticking with the usual stuff. Um, there's a couple of more super troops that I think are going to be really useful. But honestly, in my position here, um, I, I really like to uh, stick with the army that I'm using. And there we go. Wow. 700,000 golden elixir wow okay well let's do this um let me see is there a way to funnel it a little bit better i think yolo is probably the best option in this case <laughs> let's do it three three there we go which is three three by the way this is the first raid on my town hall 12 um with the hand cam I'm, i hope you guys are i don't know learning or at least are vaguely uh impressed or or entertained or something by this uh it's always been something that i've wanted to do and, and and of course i am looking for a better camera so stand by for that but um but yeah it's just it's just good man it's awesome so uh poison spell yeah let's go ahead and poison over this queen i've got no cc to worry about maybe i should pop the warden's ability right now there we go perfect pop the king's ability too so we're gonna get the town hall the question then is are we gonna get the rest of the loot because there's lots of loot that's lots of loot. And I popped the Warden's ability just to click early, dude. Just to click early. Because if I had um, if I had waited just a bit, then the Gigabomb wouldn't have destroyed all of my stuff. That's kind of a bummer. But I'm at Town Hall 12, attacking at Town Hall 13. I always say, don't do this. This is a stupid thing to do. But ever, ever, occasionally, it's the only thing you... It's the only option you have, especially if you're like me, and you're hanging out in Titan League, which I've mentioned many times. Let's pop this Queen's ability, and she's going to continue to push. Actually, this looks like it may be a Town Hall... Uh, 12 v13 triple uh, there's a lot of base left guys this is, I mean there's a lot of troops left and not a lot of base this is looking really really good in fact look at this guys this is the rest of the base right here this king is going to be in charge he's he's leading the way these look at these skeletons they're gonna get in front of that king it's a hundred percent gonna be a three star that is amazing let's get some hype in the chat of course this isn't a live stream let's get some hype on in the comments of a three star 10 on 12 v 13. that was awesome now the, it's mostly because of the base design if you if i zoom out a little bit it's the base the big big ring base that that is absolutely why that worked out that way i love ring bases whenever it comes to bow witch anyway so over a million golden elixir that is amazing that is absolutely amazing. So I'm going to request for CC. I'm going to be able to donate CC troops 
to myself. Okay. And now that I have a hand cam, you guys can kind of see what's going on. I realize, and again, I've, I've, I want to get a better camera, but I realized for now uh, this camera is going to work. See, okay, so I think I'm on the wrong Wi-Fi. Look, see that? It says it's loading. Oh, okay. We loaded. Nice. I, I th <laughs> for some reason, I thought maybe I, I froze up completely. All right, so CC troops have been donated. There we go. Let's go out and do another one. Very nice. I love it, dude. So, so having the hand cam is is super useful because I could show you guys things. But it's also something that you know you guys have been requesting for a long time. In fact, and I've, I've forgotten to mention this in two videos now, two days in a row. I forgot to mention this, but uh, my dude um, James, who is my all time top donator uh, ever in a live stream, uh, specifically requested this months ago, and I never got to it. I never got around to it until lately. So. Uh, and I, I figured, you know, once I got all this set up and I, I thought, you know, it'd be really cool to to bring this out whenever an update goes live. So I, I've been kind of holding on to it for just a little while. Um, and so here we are. Update is live. And so is the hand cam. Ha ha. I can blow its mind if I do that because it's got automatic features and stuff, which I'm not a big fan of. I like to be able to set my cameras like with stable lighting and stable brightness and everything. But this thing does it automatically. You could turn it on and off, but if you turn it off, then it, it defaults to terrible settings. I just need a better camera. I'm working on it. Okay. Uh, nope. Definitely don't want to attack that base. Uh, I'm going to find something that's really good. So oftentimes, oftentimes uh, I will be searching for a base and I'll tell you guys, all right, guys, I'll be right back once I find the perfect base. And then I do the moment that I say that. So I'm kind of hoping that that's going to happen here. Uh, 600,000 gold. That's not bad. Uh, where's the gold at? All right, so we got two gold storages up top. I got a gold storage, uh, two down, two of them down here. Okay, cool. So here's what I'm going to do now. I'm going to drop a baby dragon on either one of these. They should be able to get that gold storage. Just no problem. I do need the gold for defense purposes. And then, ooh, that one had an air defense. Not good at all. I forgot that that was a thing. All right, well, that's okay. So I'm going to send my troops basically straight here. I want to take out both of these uh, gold storages without... Hesitation. There we go. Okay, so there's those. Get the wizards in there. Get the blue or bowlers in there. There we go. Okay, let's heal that just because the giant bombs in the wizard towers are coming down. Rage down there. Another heal. And another rage. And I'm, I think I'm going to go ahead and just jump over. I don't want to jump like through the town hall. I'm not really aiming for a three star right now. I'm mostly aiming to get that two star. Um, and as much gold as I'm able to grab as well. So let's go ahead and rage through there. Poison over this queen. And I've got a couple of archers. It'd be so cool if I was able to, to nab the rest of that gold storage right there. So maybe I can... Oh, that queen's going to slow us down for sure. Yeah, there's too much left. There's too much left. Um, I mean, I've got my CC troops. I didn't jump into the next compartment. I should have probably set it up to where I jumped over and into this compartment here. This queen's going to definitely survive. So can I do anything with my archers that is worth doing um probably maybe oh no the eagle artillery survived too bummer okay so the fact that i had a town hall uh 13 is also is a problem i did three star one just now but the fact that i got no heroes this time made a big difference now this base had a lot of loot and i got most of it so i'm totally cool with it as long as i get a one star as long as i win the raid and get a little bit of a loot bonus i'm always 100 fine so there we go with that loot bonus that's going to be over 700 thousand gold not bad not bad so with that uh also a little bit of elixir and um a decent amount of dark elixir to top it off not too shabby so i'm going to collect my star bonus and now the big question is how are we going to move forward? So if you look at my treasury, I've got 3.5 million gold and elixir. Got lots of loot. So let's see what we can accomplish. Whenever I collect all that, it's going to nearly max me out. Oh, that was awesome. Okay, so let me go into my progress base and let's make some decisions. First things first, after the update, my spell factory max or my spell factory requires another upgrade. So I'm going to go ahead and slap that down right there. Now, what else needs to be upgraded? We got one cannon. No, that's it. Okay, so that's it as far as update content is concerned. For Town Hall 11s and 12s, you get the new spell factory. Of course, your laboratory, once you upgrade that spell factory and you get that invisibility spell, which is the, the major change here, um, I'm going to have to upgrade it in the laboratory as well. So there's a bit of a delay in when you're going to see this thing upgrade. Because it's just, I mean, it's, it's a great spell, but there's 
not it's not the best it's not my favorite spell and i'm definitely not good at it either uh so uh th- that's it but um, th- that's oftentimes the complaint whenever updates come out is oh you know you don't um you don't get anything just no new content for town hall sevens or something it's like yeah there is new content for town hall sevens it's called town hall eight uh you're always the, the new content for old town halls and lower level town halls is the next town hall there's no point updating for them because they they've already finished i mean supercell already maxed those or uh, already already finished those upgrades already uh already balanced them i mean you know all that stuff anyway so uh yeah my if i wanted update information i would move up to town of 13 which i'm you know i'm getting there slowly but surely not that I don't already have a 13, but you understand what I mean. So guys, now that I am here, I want to upgrade the spell factory. Now, I don't want to do it because I don't like not having my spell factory. And if you guys saw yesterday's video, I actually bought a pack to finish off the spell factory immediately. It's $3. Make sure if you buy it, by the way, to use code Klaus. There's a link in the description to input that code automatically. But I may or may not do it on this account. Let me look real quick. Um... Let me see. So, okay, so I can use builder potions that'll that'll fast forward four times ten, so forty hours. This thing's seven days. That's way way too much. Um, could I? Nope. Okay. Well, I've got no. <laughs> I don't have a book of heroes or a, a book of building. I don't have anything, and I don't have enough metals either to buy like a hammer. So I guess, yeah, I guess I'm going to uh, to buy this pack. Yeah. Let me see. Hold on. Hold on. Yeah. Okay, I'm going to buy this pack again today. We're buying we're buying two packs in a row. One today and one yesterday. But it's worth it because I don't want to have no... Sp- I mean, it, not having spells is the worst. It's literally the worst thing ever. So I'm going to spend $3 to not have to deal with that. There we go, guys. It is done. The purchase. Awesome. So I got a book of everything now, which means that once I upgrade this baby, I'll be able to upgrade it and finish it off automatically i don't want seven days without spells that's just a terrible thing so 4.8 million elixir seven day upgrade three two one bam book of everything three two one bam there you go all right so now that the spell factory is done i can move it back across and put it in its place there you go i have now unlocked the invisibility spell which is here I'll, I may use it. I may not. I don't know. I'm not good with it. I'm terrible with it. But it, it, that's that's the same thing with every new thing. And here we go. That's, that's that's the invisibility upgrade in the laboratory. So 9 million elixir, 9 day upgrade. I will definitely be doing that eventually, whether or not I decide it's worth it. Um, and now, I guess the last thing that we want to do is finish off the final cannon. Yes, this is, this, this is the moment I've been waiting on forever. I've been, I feel like I've been working on cannons for a lifetime now. So, 12-day upgrade, 12 million gold in 3, 2, 1, bam. And I have to be very careful now, by the way, with this thing. If I actually, if I accidentally miss the upgrade button, you guys will know. You guys will definitely know. So, I'll, I'll click and the thing will stay there. So, I can't hide from you anymore. I can't trick you. You're you're gonna know everything. Kind of scary, right? <laughs> anyway, final cannon is done. Let's move it across the map here, and uh, that is absolutely amazing. So now, guys, the last upgrades that I have left: four mortars. Four mortars each upgrades twice. So uh, eight upgrades left in Tunnel Twelve up or Tunnel Twelve Let's Play. We have a twelve day upgrade here, eleven million gold. I need to do that four times. That's forty four million. And then I have no idea how expensive the next upgrade is and how long it's going to take. But I'm assuming it's going to be like thirteen to fourteen days and twelve million gold or something like that. That would be my my guess. So we still have a ways to go before we're done with defenses. But being done with point defenses is just amazing. Okay, I'm very excited about that. So last but certainly not least, uh, so I've got four days until lab is done. So that means that I have extra elixir to upgrade a couple of walls. So I say, or not a couple, one, <laughs> one wall. Let's do it. Three, two, one, bam. Oh, geez. The wall progress is slow grinding, guys, but it will be worth it. Maybe. <laughs> Uh, guys, that's going to be it for me today. This episode of our Tunnel 12 Let's Play. We're moving on, moving on up in the world. Thank you all so much for tuning in. Like the video if you liked it. Subscribe if you haven't already for daily gaming videos and to join the hashtag class family. And uh, ring the bell for notifications so you can be very aware of when videos go live. And lastly, just like I mentioned earlier, be sure and... Um, ooh, I think I forgot to use my own creator code. I did! Oh my goodness! I bought something and forgot to use the creator code. 
Oh, that's frustrating. I wish, I mean, I like the fact that it gives you that little white C on the top right hand corner, but I even forgot. So imagine how many people who, who intend on supporting their favorite content creators with their purchases forget because it's not obvious. They should, when you click to buy something, it should say, do you want to support somebody or you're supporting this person, congratulations or something, but it doesn't do that. And it drives me crazy. So I personally forgot how many of you guys have forgotten. Let me know in the comments, but be sure that if you buy something to use creator code, Klaus is the link in the description, or you can input the code manually through your settings, more settings and scroll down to the very bottom, input the code and put in code Klaus. Man, that's frustrating. <laughs> Guys, remember that I love each and every one of you, and I will see you all again next time.